at home a little more in-depth overview of the performance of the Hornady 143 grain ELDX shot out of a 6.5 Creedmoor. My low velocity load was going just over 1600 feet per second and had a retained weight of 129.7 grains. My high velocity load was going to hit the gel at just over 2700 feet per second with a retained weight of 79.2 grains. And you can see these petals fold back kind of in a weird fashion. And what I think happened there is when it came through the gel here, my bullet ended up backwards and did a tumbled right in here. And I see where it shed a couple heavier petals. And I'm thinking it just folded those back up that other direction. So I'd say 1,600 feet per second is kind of a bare minimum for that bullet. Starting with that uh, low velocity load, I shot a couple other ones that uh, were in that roughly 1500 range and then down to about 1400 and both of those tumbled. One came in, tumbled, went down through my table. The other one tumbled and went out the side of my block, but both definitely just tumbled. The one at uh, 1600 feet per second definitely opened up and gave me a decent permanent wound cavity. It started opening up and I can actually see its little red tip in there an inch and an eighth where that good portion of that permanent wound cavity starts is an inch and a quarter and it carries decent permanent wound cavity almost to the 14 inch mark. That better section of that permanent wound cavity is from the 2 inch mark to the 12 inch mark. And then what would have been the leading edge of that bullet would be 20 and 5 eighths. So overall, not, not a great performing bullet, but not a terrible performing bullet at lower velocities. At that higher velocity, um, you have it opening up almost instantaneously coming through that uh, piece of leather and board. Carrying that good permanent wound cavity to approximately the 11 inch mark, continuing to carry decent permanent wound cavity to almost the 15 inch mark, and then it kind of more or less pin lines to that leading edge at 22 and an eighth. And um, let's back up here to that low velocity round again. That larger portion of that permanent wound cavity on that is. Two and seven eighths. So on that high velocity load, that larger portion didn't tear quite all four sides of my block. So you're looking at uh, you know uh, five to five and a quarter inch large portion of that permanent wound cavity. Um, I use these bullets for my mule deer hunts and my white tail deer. I've killed a lot of mule deer and a ton of white tail with them. Absolutely excellent bullets for that. Um, they do tend to, in my opinion, uh, slightly over fragment and under penetrate. So I personally wouldn't use these for elk, even though I have harvested elk with the 6.5 Creedmoor using different bullets. And the 6.5 Creedmoor is a uh, perfectly legitimate, excellent, uh, in my opinion, if using the right bullets, elk rifle. So, give you just a little closer look here. At how those bullets performed. Tearing through the gel. And stopping right there. And that high velocity. And tapers down. said overall excellent deer and antelope bullet um, I really like them for that I I would definitely hold, use something that uh, holds together better than this if I was going to be hunting elk you're kind of in that absolute minimum you know you want that minimum of 20 inches what did they say 22 to 24 inches of penetration for a good elk bullet these are falling just just shy but uh, definitely a decent overall performing bullet and I know I absolutely love what they do to whitetail hope you guys enjoy the video